<laughs> I guess. So today, not from the mountains, but from my next favorite place, <laughs> water. So I just went for a morning swim here in Lake Constance. And I don't know if you have noticed this, but water has like a very powerful effect on our body and on our mind. And when you become more sensible, like maybe you're practicing yoga or meditation, then you probably have noticed how you become more sensible. And you notice that no matter how you feel, if you take a shower, or especially if you go into a large water body like this, then immediately it makes you feel not only like fresh, but literally um, more energized. And it's not a coincidence. And it's not about dirt or sweat. Because even in science now they know that, you know, um, like everything is a vibration and the water itself, it has an impact on every cell in our body. On a, you know, not only physical, but um, actually on a vibrational level. So in yoga and the yogic science, they always make very conscious use of water. If you go to an ashram in India, for example, the yoga center, Isha Yoga Center, they have actually consecrated water spaces where they put something called a linga into a water body, like a bath. And because the water can transport the energy. So uh, the yogis, they take bath there before they practice in the morning and in the evening. And if you go there, you can do so too. Now here, I don't have a linga right now, but for me, even taking a morning bath in the lake, it has a powerful effect. Um, also, that's one reason why in yoga, when they sweat, they say you shouldn't really, you know, rub the sweat off with your towel because the water has also the, the ability to carry memory and energy. So what they actually say, the yogis, is that you should rub the sweat back into your skin. <laughs> it's kind of challenging to film out here. So I'm um, trying not to drop my camera. So they recommend you to rub the water back so that you don't lose that energy that you have built up in the practice. All right, guys. So um, you should try this out. If you live anywhere near a lake, right now you can, if you live in Germany, you can still go swim. It's a little fresh, but it also builds up your immunity. So let's see how long I can do this um, until it gets too cold. All right, guys, this week from the lake, let, let me like know, leave a comment below and let me know what's your experience with taking bath, how it feels, you, how it makes you feel, and try this out and share your experience with me. All right, guys, see you next week. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Bye.